Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your WatchGuard SSL VPN by deploying a LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your WatchGuard SSL VPN using the Fireware Web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to your VMware ESXi console. Right click and click Deploy an OVF template. Under Select an OVF template, select Local File and then Choose Files. Navigate to the location of the LoginTC Radius Connector OVA file. Select it and click Open. Click Next. Enter a name for the appliance and click Next. Select a relevant compute resource and click Next. Review the details and click Next. Select the relevant storage and click Next. Select the relevant network and click Next. Now you've completed the Deploy an OVF template wizard. Click Finish. To view the newly deployed appliance, select the instance and open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Log in using the LoginTC user user with default password LoginTC Radius. One word, all lowercase. Once logged in, type setup and hit enter. Hit enter and pick a new password for the LoginTC user, user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does not affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Now that the network is configured, the web server will automatically turn on. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated next to Administration Panel URL. Remember to include HTTPS and port 8443 when composing the URL. Enter the same password you configured to log in. Find the LoginTC Organization API key by navigating to the LoginTC Admin Panel. Click Settings. Scroll down to the API section and click Click to View. Copy the Organization API key and paste it into the form. Click Next. Confirm your LoginTC organization and click Continue to LoginTC Radius Connector. If you have an existing LoginTC Radius Connector deployed, you can import the configurations. In this case, we will configure a new LoginTC Radius Connector. Click No to continue to the administration panel. Now your LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. 
Now you are going to add a new endpoint to accept authentication requests. If you have not created an application, navigate to the Login to See Admin panel and click Applications. Type WatchGuard and then click WatchGuard SSL VPN. Go back to the Login to See Radius connector and click Create your first endpoint. Pick the WatchGuard SSL VPN application by clicking it. The Login to See Radius connector will retrieve your applications from your Login to See organization. To get the application API key, go to the Login to See admin panel in the newly created application. Copy the application key and paste it. Scroll down, click Test, and Next. Now configure first factor authentication. If you use a RADIUS server for first factor authentication, you can select RADIUS. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using an Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port, and then in the BindDN field, enter the distinguished name of a user that has read access to the directory. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the LoginTC Radius connector to connect to Active Directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all of your users reside. Fill out the username and filter attribute as needed. Scroll down, click Test, and then Create. Now select your newly created Active Directory user directory. Next, configure the group attribute. WatchGuard SSL VPN expects successful authentication requests from RADIUS authentication servers to include a RADIUS group attribute to authorize the user. If the user is part of the specified group in Active Directory, then the RADIUS group attribute will contain that group name. If the user is not part of the group, then no attribute will be returned and WatchGuard will not authorize the user. The default radius group attribute for WatchGuard is 11, or filter ID. For the AD group, enter a comma delimited list of the groups configured for authorization under WatchGuard SSL VPN. The default group is SSL VPN dash users. Once configured, scroll down, click test, and then next. Now pick a challenge strategy. This feature allows you to configure which users should be challenged with second factor. You can pick a static list of usernames or base challenging on Active Directory group membership. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control the rollout of two-factor authentication to your user base. In this video, we will pick challenge all users. Finally, configure the Radius client. Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your endpoints list. Enter the IP address where the authentication request will originate from. If you have multiple RADIUS clients with their own IP addresses, you can add them here as well. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see RADIUS connector and the RADIUS client. Pick Challenge Interactive for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down click test and create. Now your endpoint is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your endpoint. Go to the login to see admin panel and from the users tab, click create your first user. The username must match the username in your active directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address. For domain membership, make sure the domain you've just created is selected. Click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the token on your test device. Launch the LoginTC app and click Add Token and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain 
and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Refresh the page to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. This test verifies that both first factor and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the endpoint configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click your newly created endpoint. Click Test Endpoint to open the Test Endpoint modal. Enter the username and password and click Test Endpoint. The Test Endpoint modal will behave the way the authentication mode is set in the endpoint. Enter 1 and click Continue to receive an authentication request. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your WatchGuard SSL VPN using the Fireware Web UI interface. On the LoginTC Radius Connector, under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and Radius authentication and accounting ports. Now navigate to the WatchGuard Fireware Web UI interface. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. Now you will add the LoginTC Radius Connector as a new Radius Authentication Server. Click Authentication, then click Servers. Under Authentication Servers, click Radius. Select Enable Radius Server. Enter the IP address of the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Set the port to 1812 Enter the same shared secret used when creating the configuration on the LoginTC Radius Connector. Set the timeout to 90 seconds, the retries to 1, and dead time to 10 minutes. Scroll down and click Save. Now configure your mobile SSL VPN to use Radius Authentication. Click VPN, then click Mobile VPN. Under SSL, click Manually Configure. Select Activate Mobile VPN with SSL. If you haven't already done so, enter the primary Firebox IP address or domain name. Click the Authentication tab. From the dropdown, select Radius and click Add. You can also remove other authentication servers to ensure all users are challenged with second factor authentication. Notice the Users and Groups section. The default group authorized for WatchGuard SSL VPN is SSL VPN users. This group name must match the group name in the first factor authentication group attribute section of your LoginTC Radius Connector configuration. Scroll down and click Save. Now click the Advanced tab. Make sure the renegotiate data channel is a large number, like 30,000. Click Save. Your WatchGuard SSL VPN is now configured to use LoginTC. Now test WatchGuard SSL VPN using the WatchGuard mobile VPN with SSL client with both first factor authentication against Active Directory and second factor using LoginTC. Open the WatchGuard mobile VPN with SSL client and enter your username and password. Click Connect. Type 1 in the challenge window to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request.
Users can now access your WatchGuard SSL VPN securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication.